All right, everyone, in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a Causal remote core for connecting to IRC servers. Now, the advantage here is you can have a lightweight device, like a Raspberry Pi, running the Causal core, which connects directly to the IRC servers. Then you can use multiple clients and connect directly to the core. Now, it need not necessarily be multiple clients. You could have chats on an IRC server spanning many hours, days, weeks that you don't necessarily want to leave a power hungry computer connected to all the time. It's wasteful on electricity. So you could use a lightweight system, as I said, like the Raspberry Pi, and leave that running 24-7 connected to the IRC servers, and then you can connect into the Raspberry Pi every now and again from your more power hungry system. So I've connected across into Raspberry Pi. I'm going to install Quasal Core, so that's sudo apt get install Quasal hyphen core. Okay, so we've got a few extra packages will be needed. Uh, there's nothing too major there, so yeah, okay, we'll carry on with that. Over on your main system, if you're using a KDE-based desktop, you'll need to remove Quasal. So let's open up another terminal window. So that sudo apt get remove quasal. Then once you've done that, you can install quasal client. So that sudo apt get install quasal client. If you're using a non KDE system, I don't know, like Ubuntu's Unity desktop, XFCE, LXDE, etc., you could just skip the step of removing quasal and go ahead and install quasal client straight away. I have already got that on my system. So I don't need to do that step. So I can open it up and so it says connect to core, add, the account name, give it any name you want. I'm gonna call mine main, host name. You can either use a domain name or an IP address. So that would be the IP address for where the Raspberry Pi is, but I could type that as well. And that is because I've added that line into the etc hosts file. A port you can leave as is, username and password. And they haven't set those at this point, so the thing is you can type it. Okay, well the installation is finished, so let's go and connect to it. Yep. I'll continue. Would you accept the forever? So, startup guide, create an admin user. Let's give it an unusual name, Smith. Ah, why not? Put a ridiculous password in there. Sure, why not? And yeah, remember it, because I'm not going to type that in again. Next, storage backend. Well, there's no other choices here, so next, I'll commit. Yep, next. So, connect Hey Want to here, your nickname. I'll just rename that. <laughs> Should be quids with a capital Q. Let's just go with the channel that's on here. So save and connect. Just have, just have to wait a moment because it's not exactly speedy, that Pi. Although when I was trying it on the Ubuntu server, it was kind of, yeah, probably not too far off on the speed, really. Maybe a couple of seconds faster. That is how to connect up Quasal to a remote core. So thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.